Hi there, my name is Thomas and I'm a first year engineering student at UBC Okanagan. This year, the school sustainability office tasked our 169 design class with coming up with an economical way to reduce the school's ever-growing water consumption. Today I'm going to tell you a little bit about how we attacked this issue, the steps we took to come to our solution, and how it's going to help the school take one step further in becoming a global leader in water sustainability. Let me introduce you to the team. Hi, I'm Ben. I'm Kyle. I'm Chris. I'm Taj. And I'm Tatum. Over the past couple months, the team's been hard at work, but our first step in our journey was creating a need statement. Just over 10 short years ago, the Okanagan campus was established, but its expansion has been rapid and now has become one of the top 40 universities in the world. Each year, the school's population grows and new buildings are appearing fast. With the Vancouver campus leading the way in sustainability, and this campus being a blank canvas that is being painted upon as we speak, it is the perfect time to be taking action on sustainable practices and developments. We began by realizing that a major component of the school's water usage took place in its washrooms. And when the school's newest building, the Commons, opened up, we realized something interesting. Let me show you. We realized the urinals are still flushing. We thought this was ridiculous. Why is it that we're flushing liters of water down the drain every time we're going to walk? Well, we figured how much water could we be saving if we weren't doing this? Hey, guys, we're trying to come up with a solution. Come on. We had a direction, but there was a lot of options out there. So, we need to get to do some research. After a lot of work and combing through a lot of solutions, we came to the conclusion that the hybrid urinal was the best combination of high water efficiency, low initial cost, and low annual maintenance. The hybrid urinal combines both the benefits from a conventional flushing urinal and a flushless urinal essentially functioning without water and only flushing once every 72 hours on a cleaning cycle. This means at one gallon per flush, the urinals would only consume 458 liters of water over the course of the entire year. Next, we had to figure out just how much a difference this solution would make and how much it would reduce water usage. We counted every urinal in every building on campus and recorded their flush volumes. We counted 89 urinals, 81 of which were flushing. To determine how much water these 81 urinals are consuming, we needed to find out how often they were used. We wanted to find an accurate estimation, so we took samples from a low, medium, and high traffic building. We then conducted six 30-minute observations, one during midday and one during the evening, in each of the three buildings, counting how many times a urinal was used. This data was then applied to the whole campus and showed that the 81 flushed urinals are consuming 15,000 liters of water every day. After adjusting for reduced traffic during academic breaks and the summer season, this amounts to 5,741,000 liters of water every year. If all flushing urinals were to be replaced with hybrid urinals, the annual consumption of those 81 urinals would drop from 5.7 million liters to just 37,000 liters, a difference of 5.7 million liters every year. This represents a 3.2% reduction in the university's total water consumption. Replacing the 81 flush urinals with hybrid urinals would cost approximately $52,000. The hybrid urinal's highly efficient design means its maintenance and cleaning costs are significantly less than those of conventional urinals currently in place. The reduced water consumption and maintenance costs translate into savings of $10,000 each year, which means installation costs would be entirely recouped within 5.4 years. Throughout the course of this video, you might have been thinking to yourself, that's pretty annoying. Well, we know. We were trying to illustrate how much water is being used across the campus from urinals. 
Well, if we were to implement our solution, only about this much water would have been used in the last five minutes during this video. But with the university's current solution, this is how much water has been used in the last five minutes. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, I think Ben might have gone. I got him. I got him. <laughs> 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 <laughs>